Hello everyone and welcome to Bitfumes. In this episode, we are going to see the Yajra Box row editing options. There are four different row editing options and that will reflect on our Yajra Laravel data table. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is the giving a class to each row. So a very good example is given on the documentation of row class is this one. So it's just simple thing which is just going to give you uh, like if I do this and paste it. So let me explain you. So it says, okay, I'm going to add a class to each row, but the class has to be somewhat dynamic. It first check the ID. If ID is even, it will say alert success. Otherwise it will say alert warning. So just by saying this statement, if I go and refresh this page, you can see it's super cool to have these colors in each rows. So that's the great important thing. So what if I say danger? So for every odd numbers row, we have red color. So this is the one way, but you can use the blade. Yes, you can use the blade on your controller also. So you can see you just need to wrap the blade inside single quote or double quote depending of your system. And yeah, it's just a simple blade syntax. So again, giving the same result. So this is the row class, but what is row ID? So let's check and give this row ID. So this is if, if I go and inspect this element, you can see for each row. Now we have alert warning or alert success depending upon the ID. That's what I have given here. So if I delete this and refresh this page once more going to inspect it, you can see we don't have any class of alert success or alert warning. So let's make it here. And now I'm going to paste set row ID. So each row will assign an ID and that ID is actually the user ID. So if I again refresh this page and go to inspect any element and each row is now having the ID. This is going to be useful by data table when it is indexing, when it is searching anything that's very easy by having this ID. Similar to ID, we have, we can give the attribute. So what attribute? Yeah, this color attribute, I'm not going to use this one because a cool thing is there. You can see it is left oriented. What if I provide a here a line of center. So if I do this, yeah, it is like this. So why not use this system? So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. Now, instead of color, I will say a line and I'm not going to do any kind of calculation or anything. Just I'm going to say center and you can just do this like here. And as soon as I refresh, everything in this data table is now centered. So how cool is that and how easy to set up all these rows. And the last important part is having data row data. So yeah, you can use this or it is more clear on the blade part. So I'm going to have these things and let's just delete this and let's just only have the name. So you can see the name data name is actually row name but where it is going to reflect it's not available here on this table row it's not available here but if i go to the network tab and the ajax call the data is here for each data now we have the row data so on the row data we have a data name which is prefixes with row and hyphen so instead of name just having this what we can do we can change it we can say data is actually dt underscore row data dot data hyphen name. So is that correct? dt underscore row data then data hyphen name. So if I now refresh, yeah, it is prefixes with row. So this means you can make changes on your existing um, data and you can actually load other data also. So these are the four things related to row editing and these are very, very important. And 
If you have liked this episode, please go and share with your friends. If you have not subscribed, go and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get instant notification. Like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.